How did 100 foot thick seams of pure low sulfur coal form here in the Powder River Basin? It's a geological mystery. It is known that coal forms when plant material such as peat from ancient swamps or bogs is buried and compressed for long periods. It's also known that coal derived from freshwater wetlands will be lower in sulfur than coal from saltwater swamps. So geologists agree that Wyoming's coal formed in freshwater environments, but they disagree on other key points. Romeo Flores, a coal scientist with the U.S. Geological Survey, believes that Powder River coal veins are thick and pure because they formed in what are called raised bogs. Such bogs are found on uplands above the level of rivers. They are watered only by precipitation, so they are not contaminated by sediments carried in by rivers and streams. Raised bogs still occur naturally in both cool parts of the world, like Ireland, Finland, and even northeastern United States, but they also occur in tropical areas such as Southeast Asia. Retired University of Wyoming professor James McClurg has an alternative theory. McClurg believes that the Powder River coal formed in huge swamps that were fed and drained by rivers. He says sediment collected around the edges of the wetland but never reached the middle where the thick, pure organic deposits collected. The Okefenokee Swamp and Lake Complex in Georgia provides a current example of such a system. Whether the mystery of the formation of the Powder River coal seams is resolved or not, they remain a true wonder of Wyoming. I'm Gene Gade of the University of Wyoming Cooperative Extension Service.